Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Toriel Sultan. So after three months of long waiting, I have finally received my Bobcat Miner C300. For those who don't know, this is a Helium Miner that mines HNT tokens with your Wi-Fi. So I ordered it back in April and finally got it, set it up and started to mine these tokens. So in this video, let's talk about pretty much everything to do with this miner, the shipment, what's included in the package, how to set it up, what kind of issue you might face down the road and most importantly is this still worth ordering and waiting and receiving it by the second half of this year and how long it might take you to earn back your initial investments and how much profit you might be able to earn on a monthly basis we're gonna cover all these good stuff all right and do me a favor guys if you enjoy this video and find it valuable drop some comments below give it a like and subscribe to the channel for future content and that will be much appreciated Without further ado, let's get into it. I ordered my Helium Miners through Bobcats back in April 20th, 2021. So I received my package around July 12th. So that's just at the 12 weeks mark. When I ordered it, they claimed the waiting time is at 6 to 12 weeks. As many of you already know, the current waiting time is at 12 to 20 weeks. Bobcat recently sent out an email. They mentioned that they're moving their manufacturing location from Wuhan, China to Shenzhen, China. For those who don't know, Shenzhen, China is is actually the powerhouse of all the electronic devices. So many of the North American or European electronic devices are actually produced in Shenzhen, China. Because the helium miner demand is very high, hopefully this is actually a good news for Bobcat to scale up their business. They shipped the units through DHL and it took me literally around three days to receive the package. I did pay import tax, however, it's not something crazy amount, definitely something acceptable. Just be aware that DHL my ask you for import tax. Now let's talk about packaging. When you open the box, the first thing you're going to see is a quick troubleshoot guide. Just in case you face some sort of connection issue, give it a quick read can always be helpful. I will take you through the setup process just in a moment. And next item, this is a warranty card and certification to prove this unit has been certified. It comes with a 12 volt power adapter, the antenna base. As you can see, the end of the base cable, the connector type is RPSMA, female connector. A few screws just in case you want to mount the miner on a wall. The stock antenna that comes with a Bobcat miner is a 4 dBi antenna. This is definitely powerful enough to give you better reach comparing with one of the older generation of the miner that comes with a 2.3 dBi antenna. And it comes with a pin as well. This is really handy if you want to turn on your miner into Bluetooth mode for pairing or diagnostic report. Last but not least, let's talk about the miner itself. The miner is super light, it's probably because inside of it is actually a Raspberry Pi. On top of the unit, you're going to see Bobcat logo as well as indicator light. At the back of the unit, you're going to see six different ports. The first port is going to be where you connect your antenna to. This is a SMA port. Move on to the next one, you're going to see a BT button, stands for Bluetooth button. This is where you're going to stick your pin in here for 5 to 10 seconds to turn on the Bluetooth mode. Move on to the next two, TF car slot, as well as a COM port. These two ports, you are not going to use them at all. Move on to the next two are going to be Ethernet port, just in case you want to run your unit with the Ethernet instead of Wi-Fi. Last but not least, this is a 2.5 millimeter 12 volt powered port. This is where you're going to connect your power adapter onto it and power your unit. The assembling process is super easy. It, all it takes is less than a minute. Basically, you screw your 4 dBi antenna onto the base. Take out the little protection cover. With your fingers, you can easily screw the antenna cable onto the unit. Make sure you get it nice and tight, not too loose. And you can move on to the power adapter. And that's pretty much it. It's that easy and simple. And now you're ready to power the unit and get it connected to the Helium network and start earning HNT tokens.
Now let's talk about how we can connect this unit to the Helium network. The first thing you need is a Helium app. You can download it straight from App Store as well as your Google Play. Depends on what phone and brand that you use. First time using the app is going to direct you and create a Helium wallet. Basically, it's going to generate 12 word phrase. This is your wallet backup phrase. There are some methods you can keep these 12 word phrase nice and safe. You can either take a screenshot or you can write it down on a piece of paper. You can store them in two different locations just in case one location breaks down or you can write them down on a TXT file and store it on a USB device and you can encrypt your USB stick with a password. Just in case you lose it one day, at least you have a password to protect the USB stick so no one else is able to have access to your USB stick. If the Helium app is asking you to create a password, definitely go ahead and do so because it's really important to set up a password. This is basically your Helium wallet. Just in case if you lose your phone or anybody have access to your phone, they will also be able to access to the Helium app unless you set up a password with it. When your wallet is all set, at the bottom, the first icon is all your miners. On the top right corner, you're going to see a plus sign. Just give it a click. This will allow you to choose your hotspot and start connecting process. Depends on what miner that you have. In our case, we have a Bobcat Miner 300. It's the first option. And now it's going to give you a few tips on how to place your hotspot. First of all, you want to make sure your miner is maybe close to the window, if possible. The plain and open side is definitely one of the consideration for a better connection. And second of all, you definitely don't want to hide this under your bed or in your cabinet. Any building may block the signals from traveling through and connecting and communicating with other hotspots or miners. Last but not least, these miners really hate bug screens or metal mesh, so you definitely want to avoid them and you want to click on I understand. The next option is going to ask you, have you powered your unit? Make sure you power your unit first before you want to move on to the Bluetooth connection option. And now you want to take out the pin that comes in the package we mentioned earlier. You want to stick to the second port, hold on to five to 10 seconds until you see the unit has a blue light turned on. That means we're in the Bluetooth mode. This mode is specifically for pairing or diagnostics. When you're done with that process, just click on scan for my hotspot. This is going to basically do a scan in your network to find this Bobcat miner. When you turn on the Bluetooth mode on a Bobcat C300, within a few seconds of the scan, you should be able to see your Bobcat miner 300. Simply click on this option and it will go ahead and connect this unit with your Helium app. And now the next stage is Wi-Fi configuration. Basically, you just need to select the Wi-Fi you want to go with. Unless you don't want to use Wi-Fi, you want to go with the Ethernet cable, then you want to go with the options at the bottom says use Ethernet instead. But if you want to go with Wi-Fi, simply go with your local available network options. And it's going to show you connecting to the network and give it a few seconds. And last but not least, we want to set the hotspot location. Simply click on ask for permission and you want to allow the Helium app to have access to your location. Then you're going to see two different pin. One of them is white, the other one is light purple. Then you want to drag around this white pin and bring it close to the purple one until two of them are matched. When you're done with it, click on set location button and you should be good to go. A last stage, this is going to be antenna setup. The default is going to show you Bobcat Miner 300 and the default antenna gain is going to be 4 dBi. You don't have to do anything. What you want to type in is your height. I've asked some people in the Helium Discord group, basically this measurement is not a strict measurement. I did some basic Google search. Average residential building floor height is around 14 feet. So that's 4.3 meters. You want to enter the meter number. If you're on the ground floor, leave it zero. If you're on the first floor, leave it 4.3 or four meters. And then when you're done with that, click on next. In terms of location fee for this hotspot setup, normally the cost is $10 because you purchased this miner brand new. So it's being prepaid. So you don't have to worry about anything. When you're done with that, just click on register hotspot. Now it's registering your hotspot. Sometimes just in case you have a disconnection here or any error message, just start over again and you should be good to go. Now the last process, this is going to register this hotspot under your Helium app as well as a Helium network. Just be patient with it and you may want to just close this window by click on go to wallet. And now when you come into your wallet, you should be able to see your hotspot has a unique name registered to it and the current status is going to show start sync. All you need to do is be patient 
integration with it, the syncing process may take up to a few days. You may want to visit this app once a day to keep an eye on the syncing process. So when I set up my first Helium Miner, I woke up the next day, I opened my app, my miner was showing relayed issue. So this is a common issue for Helium Miner. I went on this journey of finding how to fix this type of issue. So basically you need to log into your Wi-Fi router, you wanna do a port forwarding, as well as reserve a static IP address for your miner. The good news is that I've made an in-depth tutorial video on this topic. So the link is in the description, you can go there and find it or I'm gonna link it in this corner somewhere so if your miner is having the same issue hopefully by following the instructions mentioned in that video you can fix your related issue just like how I did And now I'd like to share with you a little bit on the profit side of things. I've been mining for about one week or so, so I'd like to share with you how much profit or HNT tokens that I mined and earned. So you get to decide if this is something profitable or you should invest into it. So as you can see, I have logged into my Helium app right now. I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars. That's seven days of profit earnings. So I've earned so far about 35.94 HNT tokens. So many of you probably already know the crypto had a little dip. HNT today is around 10 to $11. Peak of HNT tokens this year is at about 20 to $23. That's literally double the current price. Maybe hang on to these tokens, sell it when it reach back to $20 might be a better idea. Keep that in mind, I have a three miner setup. So this is a profit coming from the three miners. If you only have a one miners, then profit definitely will be much less. So keep that in mind, backing February this year, we had probably 20,000 miners globally, and now we're reaching at 100,000 miners. So the more miners are setting up globally, that means we need to split the profits to all these miners. So the more we have, the less everybody get to earn. And plus, on top of it, August 1st is having for HNT or Helium Network. So that means all the profits will cut in half. So you can see here, first day I earned about 7.6. 6.4, day 2, 6.94, day 3, 5.47. You see a little bit decline on day four, five, six. That's because I woke up one day, one of the miner went offline. Discord is definitely one of the best places to go to. So I went on Discord, asked a whole bunch of people. So that wasn't just my miner. So a lot of newer Bobcat miner had a similar network. They call it P2P issue. We did a power recycle, a reboot on the miner, unplug the miner, wait for a few minutes and plug it back. Lucky enough, one more day day later, the hotspot went back online. It started to earn tokens again. Day seven, that's when the third miner came back online. You can see it starts to earn a little bit more HNT on the day seven. Now let's talk about if this is something you should do as well. My answer to that is it has to do with your location. If you're in a city urban area, there's a lot of hotspots around you. Even though you don't earn much HNT tokens as we have many more miners coming onto the Helium network, work end of the day it's still passive right you can pay a $450 and set it up and then just leave it there for a year or two I'm sure within the first few months you're going to earn back your initial investments however if you're in the middle of nowhere somewhere really far away from the urban or the city area then you need to think carefully so your earning will be much less than what I showed you here that might take you for a very long time to earn back the initial investments unless you want to upgrade your antenna to higher dbi antenna such as 8 or 10 or 12 depends on your location you might be able to reach a little bit further to some other hotspots that's really far away from you as long as you can connect to other hotspots around you that is when you're going to see the shift and increase on hnt tokens you earn on a daily basis and last but not least i just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this video all the way through to this point if you haven't subscribed to the channel definitely go ahead and do so. If you really enjoy this video, drop some comments below and give it a like. That would be really appreciated. And I do personally read through all of your comments and I do my very best to answer all of them. So this is Tariel Sultan. Hope this video helped you to make a better decision on whether or not you want to get a Helium Miner. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.